Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I want to go over Golden Scarabs, how to get them in the best route possible. I do this route every day, and yesterday I got about four Golden Scarabs. But before I go over the route, it starts here in the Sulfur Mines. And the reason why you want to do the Sulfur Mine ones is because you get a 7% chance of getting the Golden Scarabs, compared to the Elite Chest where you want to get 2%. But before I show you guys the route I take every day, I want to show you guys the armor and everything. So I use Void Bent just for the luck. You can use any luck set. And you want to slot this uh, Chit and Padding in there. And what it does is it gives it acid resistance. If you don't know what chit and padding is, I did a video on it the other day. Check that out. But if you don't have the funds or the level to craft this chit and padding, you can also use this powerful incense. This gives you a 50 extra resistance when you're in the acid pools. I also use this Warhammer right here for taking down mobs. It has trenchant recovery on it, which helps keep your health high when taking down those enemies. But that does it for the armor and everything. Let's get to the route. So the first route starts right here, a worm sign obelisk. I like to go PvP flag when I'm doing this just so I get the extra luck. I think the max luck you can get is 7.4%. So even if you don't have luck at all, you're still getting the 7% from these chests. But it starts right here and then we're gonna head over to these asset pools right here. First chest you're gonna come across is this one right here. Right on my mark. I'm gonna pick it up and see if we can get lucky. Alright, second spot is in the same place, just right across, right on my ping. As you can see, with my resistance, I get about 100. You'll get the same if you use the powerful instance. Alright, let's keep going. The next place you want to travel to is called Mercurial Shrine, located right here. And the first chest is right here on my ping. I'm going to head over there now. If you can find any hammer that has trench recovery on it, it's going to help you a lot. I'll show you right. Alright, so nothing so far. Next chest location is going to be right here. The last one in this location is located right here in my ping. Alright, after you hit that one, head over to Cradle's Rest on the top of Brimstone. There's only one chest located here, right here, on my ping. Right, right there is where it's located. Next shrine you want to head to is called Nomad's Temple, located right here. And you're just going to head up right here to this ping right here. Right here's the location of the second spot. And boom, got a gold scale right there. These these chests are definitely the better ones to hit over the elite ones, because the elite ones want to give you 2%, like I said. So I would be doing this these this route every day if you can. It only takes about like 20 minutes to do, it's not it's not hard to do at all. The last chest you'll need is located right here. Then we move on to the next area. The final route we're taking is that Shrine of War. Located right here. And the first chest is right here. 
Second spot is located right here for the second chest. Third chest location is right here in this area. The fourth chest location is located right here. The fifth chest location is located right here, just north. The sixth chest location is located right here. From my ping. As you can see with the Chencha recovery, it's pretty easy to take those guys down. I'll show you guys the Warhammer build after this. And the last and final chest is located right here. Right in my ping. So that concludes all the routes I take every day for these golden scarabs. I managed to pick up one. I was able to get four yesterday, so it just varies on your luck. For the Warhammer build, this is what I'm rocking. This passive right here is what you're going to want. Called Prevailing Spirit. You heal for 35% of the damage dealt. This one and probably this one are important. The Hardened Steel because it gives you grit if you don't have 300 strength. And also grants a 12% damage reduction while grit is active. For my attributes, this is what I'm using. And for those that struggle in these sulfur mines, leave a comment down below. I'll try to help as much as I can. And make sure to like and subscribe, because in my next video, I'm going to try to come up with a money-making guide for you guys. As you can see, I have 113,000 right here. But if you look in my company, I'm the only one in my company right now, and I have about 583,000. So I have a really good guide coming out from making money. That'll probably be my next video, so make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.